So, who exactly is Axel? A psycho who's in love with my girlfriend. I see. And how do we know he left this note? In freshman year, he did some creepy shit trying to get with Angel. This letter matches how he acted perfectly. Do you guys think he attends AHU? I hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised. We need to have a buddy system. Never leave Angel alone when walking to her classes. I don't trust anyone outside of this group. Got it. We're going to figure out where Axel is and get his ass arrested. Agreed. I'll stay here tonight so you guys aren't alone. Thank you all so much. I'm sorry you have to deal with all this. I care about you. Someone messes with you, they mess with all of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I should probably get some rest. I have an assignment I should work on in the morning. It feels pointless working on this assignment. It has nothing to do with what I want to do. Why, when getting degrees in education and creative writing, would I need to know the effects of drugs and alcohol? It's not like I use any of those things, and I know that they're bad for me, so I don't do them. Easy as that. Ugh. I'm gonna watch this TED talk and then take a break. Lindsay Lawrence is looking to expand her publishing team. Publishing? Hello, I'm Lindsay. I'm a 15 times best-selling author who is now wanting to work with the new authors, helping them get their projects out in the world. When authors heard that, I started getting hundreds of submissions a day. Only so many manuscripts I can go through alone. And that's where you come in. I'm looking for people to join my publishing team that are willing to work remotely three days out of the week and in office two days of the week. Are you willing to put in the work to bring new stories into the publishing sphere? Submit your resume today. Only requirements is that you need to be 18 years or older and be living in Azura City or willing to move. Azura City is only 30 minutes away. I'd be willing to move there. <gasps> living in the city would be so cool. And we will fully fund any moving fees. And house your partner and or kids with you. We hope you consider applying. And remember, write your own story. Fuck watching the TED Talk. I should apply. But wait, I don't want to move away from Dean. Maybe he could move with me? I hope I'll be okay with that. I, I should ask him. I just woke up a little bit ago. <laughs> you seem excited. Yeah, <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> so an author named Lindsay Lawrence is opening a publishing company and is hiring right now. I really want to apply, but I'd have to move to Azur City. Oh, well, I want you to be happy, so go for it. I can visit after class, and... I was hoping you would move with me. With the job, I could afford an apartment there, and you could just live with me while you keep pursuing music and going to college. I'm going to keep attending uni since it's only a 30-minute drive, and my job is half working from home and half working in the office. But regardless, would you be willing to move in with me? Angel, of course. That sounds amazing. Really? I'm so proud of you, babe. Go ahead and apply. I'm sure you'll get in. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Looks like class is over. Um, let's go ahead and grab my laptop. And there we go. Ugh. 
So, uh, how have you been? Oh, uh, hey Maddie. Um, I've been good. Uh, really excited about a job I'm applying for. Oh, a job? What is it? It's actually pursuing my creative writing side. Are you really gonna enjoy that? Y yeah, <laughs> I'm going to school for that, so yeah, I will. <laughs> Sorry if I'm getting too personal. Uh, it's, it's okay, I'm just kind of anxious because of some stuff going on in my personal life right now. Well, I'm sorry that whatever is going on is making you anxious. I only wish you the best. Thanks. Anyways, I should probably head out. See ya. I can walk you home if you'd like. Uh, no, I'm good. Actually, my friend's meeting me outside, so I'm good. You have a nice day, Maddie. I just don't know if I should trust anyone outside of the group. Uh, hey, Joy. Ready to head back to the dorm? Uh, yeah. Thank you, by the way, for helping me out and picking me up after class. Of course, I'll always be here for you, Angel. Let's go. It's raining, so we may need to hurry in the rain. <laughs> no slipping, though. Of course, let's go. Oh my gosh, it is raining. Ah! <laughs> Come on! Nervous? <laughs> that obvious? Just a smidge. Look, you're gonna do amazing, I just know it. <laughs> I hope you're right. My parents are here and, well, you know my dad's not the biggest fan. Well, he's boring. Live your life. If he wants a relationship with you, he needs to accept you for you, regardless of how your goals differ from his. You're both right. Let's do this. Say something meaningful, say something I don't know, I wanna know you better The way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel, I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight, looking at you all night, put you in that spotlight you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know Till my lungs give out your beauty You guys did amazing! Oh my gosh! Thanks, babe. <laughs> 
Thanks. You did freaking awesome, Dean. So did you. <laughs> that was great, sweetheart. My baby is so talented. Mom. <laughs> Thanks. Gotta admit, I was wrong. Wait, really? I'm gonna contact some of my friends who are in the music world. I think they could use someone with your talent. Yours too, girly. Me? Yeah. Let's see if I can get you guys a gig at a place a little bigger. I'm proud of you both. Thanks for making me come, Angel. I didn't realize how hard you've been working on it. I just wanted to be stable in life. I understand, sir. I'm glad you came out to see, though, that he's been working his ass off to improve. Pardon my language. <laughs> Wait, you're the reason he's here? Y yeah. Sorry I didn't tell you. I... I just felt like he should see you perform before he judges what you do. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Glad it all worked out for the best. Such a sweet girl. <laughs> My future daughter-in-law. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Such a sweet woman. My future mother-in-law. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what do you say we get some coffee? <laughs> Hello? Hi there, is this Angel Atwood? Uh, yeah. This is Lindsay Lawrence, with Written Destiny Publishing. Oh my god, Miss Lawrence, it's an honor to speak with you. Oh please, call me Lindsay. I was calling to let you know you've got the job. We loved your application. You seem to really have a passion for storytelling. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, I won't let you down. I hope not. Oh, I also saw you'd be moving here. Uh, yes. We will email you the apartment building information. That is where we house our team members, as well as a form to fill out. We will be covering all moving fees and safety deposits, and it's up to you if you'd like us to automatically take the rent out of your paycheck so that you don't have to worry about it. Or if we can give you your full paycheck. And then you can pay the rent yourself monthly. It's up to you, and there's no rush to answer. We just need all answers on the email form answered by the end of the month, so we can schedule the move. Of course. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for applying. We will see you next month. See ya! <laughs> Shh! Sorry! <laughs> huh? Axel? No, I'm being paranoid. Huh? Meet me in the forest. Like you met me by the school. Come alone or else I'll have to be cruel. I'll be there tonight at midnight. Finally you will know where I've been all this time and who's behind all these notes.